to score more than 400 runs in a county championship match. He finished on 405 not out against Somerset at Taunton. Hick had already made 179 before resuming his innings this morning. He quickly moved past his previous best score of 230. It was the first in a series of landmarks. His 300 came with a six. So on 399 did his 400. His unbeaten 405 was the highest individual score made in England this century. It was only 19 short of Archie McLaren's highest ever score of 424, made in 1895, also at Taunton. Yeah, well, I don't think it's actually sunk in yet, but uh, I suppose tomorrow when I wake up and that thing will all come back to me. Did you realise you were breaking so many records and were so um, near McLaren's record? Oh, I didn't even know that the McLaren's record existed. Hick was born in Zimbabwe, but has lived in England for four years. Under present rules of qualification, he won't be playing for England until 1991. But some cricket commentators believe that he should be brought into the England side sooner, so exceptional is his talent. Arguably the best batsman already in the world, and possibly he will become the most prolific since the great Don Bradman. Uh, he's also very good for the game, a very nice personality, and I think there's a case for a special case to be made of Graham Hick and to get him into the test side for England as soon as possible. It remains to be seen whether the authorities will make an exception for Hick. The PCCB are looking into the current rules for qualification and may announce changes. What's certain is that if England fail again against the West Indies, there'll be even more pressure for Hick to enter the test arena.